Under founder and former paratrooper Jean-Marie Le Pen, the National Front was a marginal party uniting small nationalist forces in opposition to immigration. Its roots in racism and anti-Semitism, along with Le Pen's words over Nazi gas chambers, spark revulsion. I think it's a detail in the history of World War II. Ever in the background, his younger daughter Maureen, who dropped a law career to join the ranks of the party in the late 1990s. She saw her father pull off a major upset when he took the National Front through to the second round of the presidential election in 2002, though the nation overwhelmingly voted in favor of conservative Jacques Chirac. In early 2011, she was named to lead the party. She knew she had to bring the FN into the mainstream and set about rebranding it in her own image, distancing herself and the party from her father's negative image. Whether you're a man or a woman, Christian, Jewish or Muslim, heterosexual or homosexual, you are first and foremost French. She banned skinheads from rallies and ejected members caught being openly racist. Since then, the party's made significant electoral gains from the local level right up to the European Parliament. However, Marine Le Pen's move to take the party mainstream stoked tension with her father, who would repeat his statements about the Holocaust. Jean-Marie Le Pen needs to show some wisdom. He needs to accept the consequences of the trouble he himself has caused, and maybe even end his political responsibilities. They ended in no uncertain terms when later that year Le Pen kicked her father out of the party. While he publicly disowned her, she now had free reign to reposition the FN as she saw fit. Brussels now became a top target. The European Union is going to die because the people don't want it anymore. It worked. Amid a sustained economic slump and high unemployment, young and old flocked to the National Front's banner. While the party retains its opposition to immigration and hardline stance on law and criminality, it's made much more of its protectionist economic policies. It's proven a winning combination for the party and its leader, who now has a plausible shot at the presidency for the first time in history.